I think there was still this vision of a post-Cold War new world order. It was ultimately a globalist one. Um, and I don't say this to brag, but one of the first things I learned in, um, in foreign policy and national security is that communism is a bad thing. All right, pretty simple cliche, bumper sticker mentality, perhaps. Right. I confronted Winston Lord. I confronted a lot of the Kissinger gang about how we turned our back on human rights abuses in China. And I kept being told for a long time that the rise of China as a global power was, as an economic power at least, um, was a constructed positive thing for the United States. And I've said this, I don't think we've ever been told anything that's more fundamentally inaccurate. And this literally now is a global crisis, the CCP's aggression. Um, and I don't think back in the in the, the eight years of George W. Bush that there was even then a, a perspective or an understanding that of how important India could be, would be, uh, should have probably been even back then right. in uh, being an allied offsetting regional power to it uh, because of there's a few explanations. I mean, you've got a grouping of people who, frankly, I mean, just be blunt about it, I think have been bought and paid for by uh, the CCP. This is their elite capture program. And, um, you know, and that, might be, and that might be very high level people who have right. literally who are making policy decisions in the United States in ways that are beneficial uh, to them. Right. And that's, a, I, I never thought I would, be in a position where I would acknowledge even the possibility of that, but the Manchurian candidate, I mean, like it's more in a movie. Um, we have a very strong possibility of that. And, and again, I don't see any sign of it being taken seriously. Uh, and then I think you had another part of the ideological universe, probably the larger part that, that where we were um, seeing the blossoming of American technology. And, you know, we went through this whole H-1B visa debate and uh, the need to import labor to, to outsource uh, manufacturing. And so it was uh, perceived at least by some school of thought within that administration to have been an increasingly important economic relationship, uh, not looked at in any broader terms than that. You know, today, right. anyone who's, who's woken up to the reality has to understand, you know, the biggest obligation we have at this juncture is we're looking at a possible creation of a, a terrorist super state yes. that is going to possibly be backed by two nuclear powers in China and Pakistan. Right. Uh, I would say that we have a pretty strong need for a, yes. a hand in glove relationship with India. And, uh, and, I'm per and I'm personally doubling down on the importance of that and the um, you know, right. commitment to it, because I, I don't, I mean, it's just, not, it's an absolute necessity. It's, it's an extremely scary scenario just to imagine. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad, Namaskar.